Hey, opposing good day, everybody. This is Sports Fanatic News. I'm Joe Blick, and this is going to be on the Reading Royals. Patrick Bykoff, the latest edition of the Royal Tate, winning the ECHL <clears throat> Player of the Week, as well as Jacob Pritchard making the ECHL All Star team, as well as this is a trifecta video, the preview to the game against Anirondack uh, this evening. The the uh, the uh, Reading Royals Patrick Bykoff was named in Glasgow ECHL Player of the Week. I was trying to pull that up so I knew what the um, actual title was. It's in Glasgow. Uh, he scored four goals and added an assist for five points in two games against Wooster last week. When he's been struggling to get on the score sheet, he's been a little snake bitten of late. If not for that, he probably too would be joining Jacob Pritchard on the All Star team because he's played a hell of a season overall. He's just been snake bitting goal scoring wise. Of late, he's 24. Uh, he had a goal and an assist in the 3-2 win on Friday, and then notched a hat trick, of course, in the 6-2 win against Wooster on Saturday. Um, he deserved to win the Player of the Week. He's a guy that's having a hell of a season for the Reading Royals. He just needs to keep continuing to do his thing, and he's going to continue to um get opportunities um if that's the case uh, to potentially. Um, go up and uh, be somebody that uh, kind of swings and gets loaned uh, to the AHL level and all of that um, if, he, if he's uh, able to continue to perform at the level he's going. But he had before turning pro in the Western Hockey League 112 goals, 176 assists, and 342 games. So he was coming in as a scorer. He continued to showcase that um, shot, having 20 points, 11 goals, and 9 assists in 24 games with the Royals this season. And he also skated in one game with the Springfield Thunderbirds of the American Hockey League. So as I said, if he continues to perform at the level he is, then he's going to continue to get opportunities um, moving up at the AHL level and might eventually get an opportunity because the Phantoms, you can never have enough good shooting on your team, uh, might eventually get an opportunity just as we've seen Wilbon before and Hodge in this season move from the Royals to the Phantoms and continue to move up that way. Uh, Jacob Pritchard's another guy that's playing very well. Um, obviously made the ECHL All-Star team, the 2022 ECHL All-Star Classic. Only 2020, in 22 games this year in the 2021-22 season, Pritchard has recorded 8 goals and 9 assists, 17 points, and he also has been loaned to AHL team uh, Springfield and Rochester. Um, he has 14 goals and 17 assists, uh, 31 points in 54 ECHL games. So this is the breakout season for him. And two goals and five assists in 35 AHL games. It wouldn't be surprising if he's a guy that's a Wilman and Hodgson eventually next season um, and ends up getting his uh, chance with the Lehigh Valley Phantoms. Or even this season, if they continue to go down the injury road or the Flyers continue to need more players and they're shorthanded, it wouldn't be surprised if they look to him, just as if they might look to uh, Patrick Bykoff, who won the ECHL Player of the Week. Bykoff was deserving of the Player of the Week. If he never went into that lull of being snake bitten by scoring, he probably would be joining Jacob Pritchard on the All-Star team, who's very deserving of being in the All-Star Classic. That's going to be against the Jacksonville Icemen in Jacksonville, where they play them for three periods, the final period being three-on-three -three hockey, uh, to see who's able to take home the crown between the All-Stars and the Icemen in the ECHL. Uh, All-Star Classic. And then finally, last but certainly not least on this video, uh, we will preview the game against the Anirondack Thunder, where our Reading Royals uh, two times ago out against them lost 4-1, to but then last time we were able to win 5-4 to in a great offensive bout. Uh, you would obviously like to play more of a defensive system of how we did in the 2 nothing win, the 3-2 to win, and the 6-2 win. All things were clicking on all cylinders against Wooster. So if that's the game able to perform against Anirondack, obviously that would be very efficient and uh, very great, but that's not something you expect to come in and see uh, every game. When it comes to the standings as a whole, uh, the Reading Royals are in third place right now at 12, 7, and 4 uh, with the run they've been on with 29 points. The Thunder have 28 points. They have 24 points, or 24 games, excuse me, to the Thunder playing two more games at 26. Uh, the Thunder are 13, 11, and 2. The Thunder, in terms of overall uh, team stats, have allowed 82 goals against. They've scored 78 goals, though, so they are almost even, so they're a good offense. Obviously, just not the most efficient uh, defensive team, and we saw that in that offensive bout of a game. The 21 for 95 on the power play, uh, 66 penalty kills uh, in 90 opportunities. If we put them 
in the comparison with our Reading Royals, we have 71 goals scored to 78. Um, and then the power play is 22% to 23% where the Royals beat them by 1%, and then 74% to 73% of the penalty kill where the Royals beat them uh, by 1%. Yet again on that, where overall for Reading right now, our team has allowed 75 goals to 71 goals scored, so that's starting to get closer, which is obviously showing why the team has had better success of late. Um, on the power play, still not the best, 19 for 83, but there's been some better power plays of late, and 51 for 69 on the penalty kill, so obviously that's been solid. Um, the Reading Royals just need to continue to play the defensive system. They've been playing much better of late in these recent games um, since coming back from the holiday break. The only bad defensive game they played was the 5-3 game um, that they were not able to defend a lead, which wasn't the best goaltending game either against Wooster, but the, you have to be able to obviously defend a lead. Overall, it wasn't a bad defensive game, but you have to be able to defend a lead uh, in that aspect there. And then also, of course, uh, the game 5-4, but they were able to win that against Adirondack. But we played great defensively against Wooster in every other game, and now you got to try to jam the neutral zone kind of just clog them and get them go and get it going the other way and get the transition going with the speed skaters the Reading Royals have like the Patrick Bykovs of the world, the Jacob Pritchards of the world, and then drive the offense and then they're gonna definitely be able to beat this Anirondack Thunder team if they play them offensively like they did in that five to four victory, but play defensively a lot more like they did against Wooster, uh, minus the five to three loss, because then they're being in a much better spot and not have to try to scratch and claw to get a win like that with 5-4 win. Peace out, everybody. Stay safe. This has been the latest edition of the Royal Take as we go over Bykov winning the ECHL Player of the Week. Jacob Pritchard making the ECHL All-Star Classic against the Jacksonville Iceman. And then, of course, previewing the game against Anirondack tonight. Peace out, everybody. Please continue to subscribe down below if you enjoy the content to help us get to 195 in January goal or up above on the easy-to-use widget. Go Royals. Enjoy the game.